Hello, I'm Steve Porter with your Diz Daily Fix for January 16th, 2017. Here's what's happening today. The cabanas are coming down. That's right, the cabana rentals in the Magic Kingdom's Tomorrowland will soon be a thing of the past. The Orlando Sentinel is reporting that Walt Disney World is pulling the plug on the pricey rentals stating that they will no longer be available after February 17, 2017. Back in November, we reported to you that the Magic Kingdoms had started testing the service, which for $649 per day, guests could rent essentially an oversized tent in the park. The price eventually was lowered to $500, but the tests still apparently failed, and thank goodness. Disney has a responsibility to its shareholders to create the largest profits possible, but, you know, this just kind of crossed the line for me. You know... It just seemed extremely elitist and didn't fit in with the theming of Tomorrowland. I just thought, you know, if they're going to do add-on experiences, that's fine. But, you know, this just, if you have giant VIP tents in the middle of the Magic Kingdom, that just goes too far in my opinion. And in more good news in Walt Disney World, guests are looking uh, to bo- who are booking resort stays on Walt Disney World property will now receive the newest version of the Magic Band, which people are calling Magic Band 2.0. Ooh. Uh, in in the mail prior to their arrival. Magic Band 2.0 is, has a removable puck that can be placed in a variety of magic keepers, which if you don't know, it's essentially just like a keychain. Um, I know a lot of people are looking forward to this change because, uh, you know, some found the original Magic Bands to be a little bulky and uncomfortable. So good on Disney for listening to the feedback and improving their product. Disney CEO Bob Iger's salary is down slightly in 2016. He made a reported $43.9 million as compared to his 2015 salary, which was $44.9 million. Disney filed paperwork paperwork this week with the Securities and Exchange Commission releasing these numbers. So maybe the commandments are coming down because even Iger realized he couldn't afford them. I don't know. Bad joke. I'm sorry. Uh, And today's feature article is from Ryan Teets, his article titled How Disney Made the Best Out of a Bad Situation, explaining how Disney handled the cancellation of the Walt Disney World Half Marathon. Be sure to check out his article on WDWinfo.com. Trending on the DizBoards.com today is a thread started by poster J. Thaddeus Toad Esquire. That's one hell of a username. He stated that someone at Walt Disney World contacted him to cancel his January... 31st reservation at Cinder Royal's Royal Table due to operational issues. Posters on the board are losing their minds and can't believe that Disney has the audacity to cancel those who already have a reservation so that they can make more money from a premium event. And, you know, they feel like they're taking the whole add-ons to a whole new level. People, you know, understand that everything is subject to change um, and or subject to cancellation, excuse me. But just because Disney has something in the fine print doesn't mean they should take advantage of it. Uh, the family was up at the crack of dawn, 180 days out to make this reservation, so look out for the thread entitled WDW Canceled Our Castle Dinner at uh, on the Disney Restaurants Forum to weigh in with your thoughts. Today's weather forecast shows partly cloudy skies in Anaheim with a high of 66 and a low of 44, and here in Orlando we have partly cloudy skies with a high of 80 and a low of 58. You can find all the links to the stories on, and more on your Dis Daily Fix main page at wdwinfo.com slash dailyfix. That'll do it for me today. Be sure to join us again tomorrow with the next installment of the Diz Daily Fix. Have a great day, everyone.